Hi, it's Zena Warthog Princess, and welcome, welcome back. This video is a Vera Bradley haul. Um, it's a little delayed because of travels. I got home and I had like two days to run through and pack for a cruise, and then I've just been back now for a week and a half. I got back on Monday, today's Friday, no, today's Saturday. Anyway, um, so this is late in coming because I had it shipped home. I did order it when it first came out and sight unseen had it shipped to the house. So anyways, I am enjoying it. I have not used it yet. Obviously it still has some of the wrapping on it, which I will leave on until I use it just to protect it even that much more. The new leather is very soft. It's very supple. It is, I think it'll be a little bit slouchy. The pictures online showed it very slouchy. I think it's not quite as slouchy as that, but probably will become that slouchy after using it for just a short time. Um, but it does have a little bit of structure to it just based on it being leather and the seams and just construction basics. Um, but yeah, I do like it. I like it a lot. Um, it reminds me a lot of the Sycamore leather, if you're familiar with um, Vera, except the Sycamore was quilted line. Uh, but nonetheless, here you go. Um, I did get the Camel. But I got some accessories, so let's look at those first. I would have ordered more if I had more money, but based on the fact that I have a closet full of Vera leather, I did not go crazy, I didn't. I bought one, two, three, four, six items. Let's dive in one at a time. The first is a Zip ID, and this one is in the black. It does have this crisscross. It's not so much quilting as it is like a stamping into the top of it, or embossed that maybe is called. All of the zipper pulls are these leather ribbons that are sewn on there, but they're very nice. They are metal zippers. They are a little better than the Vera Classic metal zippers, but not much. Um, but it's a zip ID that has a clip on it rather than just a loop, so a little bit different, and it is gold fittings. The inside is a nice, it almost looks like a foxwood coloration. Well, different colors, but foxwood pattern is what it looks like to me. Um, and this says, Leather Care. We hope you love your new leather accessory as much as we love designing it. Variations in color and texture are natural characteristics of leather accessories. Store in a cool, dry place. Limit prolonged exposure to light. Gently clean with a soft, white, damp cloth to extend the life of your product. Um, there you go. And this is called the Joan Zip Pouch. I don't know why everything's in French now, again I say, but well, I don't know, there it is. Both these things are in French. But it's just a, a zip ID without the clear window, it's just a pouch. But, there you go. I got the same thing in the camel, cause I got the camel bag, so it just made sense. And the interior is the same. Same color and everything. There are multiple colors in this leather release, so there was neutrals so you have black tan and uh or camel they had a red one like a merlot colored one and they had a gray and a dark teal um i've forgotten the names of those but again i'll, I'll put that down below or you can just go on vera online and look at that yourself speaking of here is the other zip id set and it is the same size um i keep calling them zip ids but there you go they're all configured the same this one is a nice rose colored, like a off-white, like a pinkish color. And then that Merlot color I was talking about. It is two-toned and some of the items did come, oh, Raisin, that was the name of it, Raisin. This is just Raisin Color Block Joan Zip Pouch. Um, so Color Block versus that embossed faux quilting. But there's three of those. The next two items are the same items, but in different colors. Um, because I do have a lot of black leather and or just black goes with everything. Um, but then I got the camel to go specifically with this bag. I do also have some raisin or Merlot colored things. They're just not all leather, some are, but. So I thought that would go well and was a good balance. And I wanted this wallet in the raisin, but they only had it in the color block and I didn't want the color blocked wallet, but there you go. So let's look at the black one. No reason just cause it's unzipped already. So this is called the RFID Finley wallet. It is black. It has the coin zipper section on the back, it has a gusset on one end. So you can get into it pretty well, I think. 
I'm not going to zip it right now because the tag is in there. It has this nice inlaid Vera Bradley metallic logo. And then it's just that nice leather. It has single snap on the front. So expansion wise, you don't have multiple snap options. So hopefully you don't overfill the wallet. I have not done a test fill yet, but I will use the bag soon, hopefully, and check it out. Inside, if you're familiar with Lug, it's a little bit like a tram wallet size and configuration. It's different, obviously, but similar, sort of. Inside, you have lots of card slots. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on one side. One, two, three, four, five, six on this side, including the clear view, which does have the finger hole to help push your card out. And that slot um, actually is sideways versus the vertical of the other. You have two big slots behind each side, so you can put your dollar bills, your receipts, and other things in those for extra cards. And this card that's in there, that's just that leather care instructions. And then, like I said, a single snap. I do think it's built to hold a lot, like just even though it has only a single snap, you can see that it does have quite a bit of space there. So I'm hoping that I don't, you know, overstress the wallet. Okay, so that's all of that stuff. And then this is basically the small Vera tote. That's not what it's called, but that's basically what it is. Where is the tag? Well, there is a tag somewhere. Well, let's just start going over the bag. So on the front, well, speaking of the tag, there it is. This is the Charlie small shoulder bag in camel, as we said. Um, and it does have this vertical pocket on the front. It goes across to this zipper. Well, actually, where's my finger? It actually goes a little farther. It goes halfway to the end of the bag. So it's pretty good. I mean, my whole hand is in there like this spread out. So that's good. I'm not a big fan of vertical pockets, generally speaking. It just is my preference, not so much. But there you go, it does have a zipper pull. I haven't unwrapped it yet. Um, just kind of keeping things protected. The leather does connect here, but it is a robust connection. And because it's leather, I think that will hold sturdily. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. It has a zipper across the top and it has these loops on the side for the crossbody strap or shoulder strap. It does come with one. I've not unwrapped it yet, but I have seen them online and I can tell you, let's unwrap this side real quick. They're not leather. This bothered me a little bit because you pay all that money for a leather bag. Why do I not have a leather strap? It's a nice gold fittings to match everything. And it has this leather portion, there's a tab on the end, but then it's a freaking seat belt strap. Really? I mean, the, the structure of it, I don't mind actually. I kind of like it, it is adjustable and it is removable and it has this other bend here it's for that's fine it's all fine but the crossbody the little crossbody comes with a leather strap so why does the tote not come with a leather strap don't make me have to buy the crossbody to get the leather strap to use on my tote whatever um so kind of disappointed in that it's a little thing maybe but to me it's pertinent and kind of important so that's what I think about that. But there's the strap. It doesn't have any pockets on the front of the bag. And again, it has that inlaid Vera Bradley, but it does have a clip here. So there you go. You clip your little pouch on the front and you can put business cards or use it as a wallet or whatever you want and it matches perfectly. Or you can change it up and put a contrasting color or a totally different style one on there. You do what you want, you know. Um, I think I would just use it this way. I most likely would not clip the pouch on the outside. I probably would clip a bag charm there. Um, just me. Um, so who knows? You can clip it on the end. You can clip it. You don't have to clip it at all. On the back, you do have a slip pocket and it is a nice size. Uh, my phone is already in a different bag, but it fits nicely in there. There's your zipper on the top with the same zipper pull we talked about. And a better look, finally, of that interior pattern. So it does give me foxwood vibes. It's a paisley floral. Um, it's the same color for all of them, which actually I think is a good neutral because there's black and tan and raisin colors in there. I don't, I don't know if I even saw, but I'm not sure is it the same color on the gray and the green? I'm not certain, but it is on the other ones. 
Um, it has two slip pockets on this side. They both leather uh, trim on the top, which is quite nice. And then a trimmed zipper on the back for a privacy pocket there. Um, the base of the bag, it's, it's sewn in, which I like. It's got feet on the bottom and it's a good size, you know, it's just a small Vera, but it's a good size bag, really quite nice. And the straps are okay. They're a little bit small for me. Uh, they fit, they work fine, but I prefer them to be a little bit longer. So I do wish that the straps were a little bit longer and that the crossbody shoulder strap was leather. So those are my two big feedbacks. Otherwise, I'm very, very happy with the bag. I do not like the metal zippers because they jam and they scratch and they whatever, but it is a leather bag, so you expect it to have a metal zipper, I would assume. So there you go. I just wish they'd have more slick, smooth zippers. Um, but yeah, so that is the new leather stuff. There is another tote that is just the large one. Um, they have a smaller wallet as well, which I did not elect to get. These are pretty small for the large size and you know, they're fairly trim, which I kind of like too. So anyways, I think that sums it up, but by all means go check out Vera. And if you want to save yourself a little bit of money, you can save 10% by using my code. I will put it in the remarks down below. It is no longer Warthog Princess because Somebody put that on a coupon site, so it was compromised and it has been changed, um, so it's down below. Bye for now.